Hey friends, welcome back to my channel that is Learn Computer Science with Manik Sharma. In this video, I am going to share the important aspects of R programming language. In the earlier video, I have briefly discussed the introduction as well as the characteristics of the R language. The web link of the video has also been mentioned in the description section of this video for your convenience. In this video, we will learn what is variable, how to assign a value to a variable, what is data type, what are major data types in R language? Finally, how to remove a variable. Let's first understand these concepts theoretically. The practical demonstration of these concepts in R Studio has also been given at the end of this video. So please watch the complete video. Let's move to the variable first. Variable is an important part of any programming language. In R programming language, there is a great flexibility in variable declaration. Technically, a variable represents a named memory location area where the data is stored. Unlike C, C++ or Java, there is no need to declare the data type of the variable in R programming. The value assigned to the variable will decide the data type of the variable. Now we understand what is variable. The another important aspect related to variable is how to assign a value to a variable. In R language, the variable can be initialized using two different methods. In the first method, a variable can be initialized using equal to operator. For example, one can set a value 10 to a variable a by using the expression a is equal to 10. Likewise, instead of equal to operator, the variable can also be assigned using a combination of less than and hyphen. That means the above variable assignment can also be done as a less than hyphen 10. So there are two valid assignment operators in R that is equal to and a combination of less than and hyphen. As far as the data type of a variable is concerned, in general, there are six different data types in R language. That is numeric, integer, character, logical, date, and complex. Numeric data is one of the most dominant and frequently used data type in R. With numeric data type, one is able to store integer as well as real or fractional values. If you assign a numeric value to a variable, its data type will be automatically converted to numeric. Contrarily, integer represent whole values only, that is no fractional values. In our language, to assign an integer to a variable, one has to append L with an integer value. Character data is used to store characters and string. In our language, as far as data type date is concerned, one can set a value of date data type using two different keywords, that is date and POSIX CD. Here date will be used to set the value as date, whereas POSIX CD can be used to set the value date along with time. With the help of complex keyword, one can declare a complex data type. We all know that based on data type and value, a variable consumes memory. To release the memory consumed by the variable after your task has been completed, we need to remove the variable from the memory. The same can be done in R language using RM statement. The general syntax of RM statement is RM, name of the variable. The name of the variable need to be incorporated in braces. Let us see how these concepts are actually implemented using R programming. Let's first create a new R script using file, new file, R script. A new R script file has been generated. So here we will declare two different variables by using two different methods. So that is, we will use equal to operator and then for the another variable B, we will use a combination of less than and hyphen, say 30. Now using two different methods, that is equal to and a combination of less than and hyphen, we have assigned 20 to variable A and the value 30 to variable B. Let us check the value of these two variable. A print statement is used to display the message or to display the value of the variable. So we need to use print a. The variable need to be enclosed in braces. Likewise, 
print b so we have created two different variable a 20 b 30 by using two different assignment methods and then we have printed the value of a and the value of b so how to execute this skip so first of all let's save this skip so we will save it say first program one save and now we have to execute it by using this run from this you can observe that the value of a is 20 and the value of b is 30 that means two different methods have been successfully used to initialize the value of the variable now to remove the value of the variable what we need to do we will use rm statement so we will write rm a again i am going to print the value of a to just check that the value of the variable has been removed successfully or not so now we will again save the program and let's again execute this program now from this output a is equal to 20 initially 20 has been printed the value of b 30 has also been printed after using the rm statement we are getting error in print a that means object a has not been found so it means the variable a has been successfully deleted from the memory so in this way we can assign a value to a variable and we can remove the variable by using the rm statement i hope that this session will be clear to all of you in case of any issue you can comment on the video please do like and share this video for more update and technical insight of computer science please subscribe this channel thank you